Right, simplify each one of these. Right, the first one. When you're times in fractions, it's straightforward. It's just numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So you've got here 2x and then 7x. Right, there's a single x here, a single x. They cancel each other out. You're just left with 2 over 7. Right, this, this one here, it's times in again. So numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. On the numerator, we have 2 times 7 is 14. And then you just got a squared. On the denominator, you got five times a cubed. Right. It might be helpful if you wrote it like this, 14. a squared means a times a. And this one over here, uh, that's going to be uh, 5a, a, a. Okay, a times a times a, that's what a cubed means. Right, we have an a over here, we have an a down here, we have another a and another a to match it. That's all you're left with. So that would be now just 14 on the top and then 5a at the bottom. Next one, um, this is going to be division. So we know for division is keep, change, flip, right? We've covered uh, fractions in previous videos. So here we leave this one, we keep this one as it is. Change the division to a times and then flip the last one. The a cubed comes to the top and the seven b goes to the bottom. Right now, numerator times numerator, that would be two, right? a squared times a, uh, a to the power of three is a to the power of five. Remember when we're timesing and the base, if the base is the same and we're timesing, we have to add the indices. Two at three makes you, gives you the five. But on the bottom, uh, five times seven is 35. You've got b squared times b. Remember, if the base is the same, which it is, both are b's, then you add the indices. Two add one is three. So that would be b to the power of three. Right, these will not cancel, right? You've got a's at the top, b's at the bottom. That will not simplify any further. That is the answer. All right, simplify this one. Well, it is division of fraction, so we can keep, change, flip. Right, you, I can turn this into a fraction by making it over one. Right. So I've just altered the question slightly, but it's the same thing. So now I'm gonna keep this one. Change and then flip. Now, since we're multiplying fractions, it'll be numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Now, two x squared y times one, well, first of all, two times one is still two, and then you've got x squared y. On the bottom, you've got five times four, which is 20, and then you got, let's deal with the x's first, right? You put a little one there just to help you. X to the power of one times X squared. And I've said to you before, if the base is the same and we're timesing, uh, you copy the base and then you add the indices. One or two is three. So that'll be X to the power of three. And then that Y, there's no other Y's there. It's just by itself. Now we can take that a little bit further. Right, two over 20, you know two over 20 is the same as one over 10, all right? Uh, now let's deal with the x's. Right, I could make that easier by putting x times x. x squared is the same as x times x. And then x to the power of three means x, x, x. And then you've got the y and the y, all right? Now you can see what cancels out. There's an X over here, this will cancel like this. There's an X over here, that will cancel, right? There's no other X's on the top matching this one, uh, but there is a Y over here, a Y over there, they cancel. So we've got X, X, Y, X, S, Y, that cancels. So we're left with one over, remember everything else, all the other letters are canceled, one over 10, and then the only letter that wasn't canceled is this X over here. 
Right, that is the answer. Right, there is a quicker way of doing this question. Right, I have to do the keep change flip because there is a division. So I end up getting this. And I know uh, for this one here, the numerator will stay fixed. The denominator, denominator will stay fixed because we've already done the flipping part. Right, so these are locked in position. Now we know that we've got x squared at the top, x squared at the bottom. These will cancel, right? Because they're the same, they're matching. There is a y at the top and there's a y at the bottom, exactly the same. So these will cancel. So what am I left with? I'm just left with, I'm left with two times one, which is just two, right? Everything else has been canceled. And on the bottom, we've got five times four, which is 20, right? The only letter that, the only thing that has not been canceled on the denominator is this X over here, right? That's easy to simplify. Two over 20 we know is one over 10, and we've got the X at the bottom, right? This is the same as that.